So in, in those moments where I think that my thoughts are one of the outside-in things that can affect me. So like I'm, I'm like the guy on the street dealing with the weather. Okay? Now, in the last... I've been here... I've been in the country less than 24 hours. <laughs> okay? I, I, I've experienced more weather in those 24 hours than living in Southern California for the last year. Right? So, so, so now, when I, when I think I'm just the guy on the street, victim of the weather... You know, it really matters whether it's sunny or rainy or gray or whatever the weather is doing. In those moments where it looks like that's me, well, I'm just the victim of the weather. You know, hope it's nice today. It's going to be a good day. Is it going to be a good day? Let me check the weather report to find out if I'm going to have a good day. Right? Outside in, outside in, outside in, outside in. Okay. Well, then, yeah, then it really matters what I think. And because it seems like we've got more control over our thoughts than we do over the weather, then, of course, I'm going to spend a lot of time trying to control them or influence them or make them the way I want them. Now, some people think they are the weather. I'm angry. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael. Right? I'm happy. You know, what are the other dwarves? <laughs> right? You, you know, I'm grumpy. I'm sneezy. Right? You know, and they think that they are whatever they're feeling. Right? They, they identify with it, and that's just the, who they are. And some people think that's moment to moment, and it changes. And some people go, no, it doesn't change. I mean, occasionally there are shades of anger. Right? I'm in a lighter shade of anger right now. I love you. Because <laughs> that's the best I got. You know? right? and, and at that level, most people don't believe they have any control over it. And, and so they're just stuck with it. It is always raining. It's like the, the cartoon character with the cl rain cloud over their head. Wherever they go, it's raining in their world, right? Now, what if you're the sky, right? If you're the sky, it doesn't really matter what weather is happening inside you at any given moment. Because it's self, it's taking care of itself. There is a science to it, but you don't even need to know what the science is. It will do what it needs to do. When there's too much moisture, it will expel it. When there's not enough moisture, it will preserve it. It will create exactly the, what's needed for the well-being of the planet. Right? Now, when we are the sky, when we show up as the sky, it doesn't matter what we're feeling moment to moment, what we're experiencing moment to moment. We don't have to get up in our heads about trying to create more of this experience. I want more sun and more this and less this and less that. Right? It, that doesn't even make sense if you're this guy. So it's not for me about, oh, well, when I'm not feeling that, that means this. And it's, it's just having a deeper sense of who we really are at core, of our true nature. And our true nature is a hell of a lot more like the sky than the weather or the guy on the street being rained on. And, and that's a grounding. Or it's an intellectual idea that sounds very nice, depending on where you're at. Or it's somewhere between the two, which is probably most likely. Um, when you're grounding, I don't mean grounded in the idea of being the sky, which is a doing. right? I can, I can pretend I'm the sky, and I can have a nice experience. Oh, yes, that would be very nice to be the sky. I shall show up for all my coaching sessions as the sky. Hang on, I need to get into my sky state. <laughs> Let's coach, right? You know, no, I'm talking about to the extent that I can see that for myself, that that actually is our true nature, our deepest potential as human beings. Then I can still have the thought that I'm the guy getting rained on. I can still have the thought that I'm the weather. But I will always go back to my grounding. I will always go back to being the sky.